Dental implants have become a popular option for patients who have lost one or more teeth. Implants provide a long-lasting, natural-looking replacement for missing teeth, and they have a success rate of up to 98%. The placement of dental implants requires specialized instruments that allow dentists to create precise and accurate implant sites. We will discuss the names, pictures, list, uses, and arrangement of implant instruments. Diagnostic Instruments A. X-Ray Machine X-ray machines are used to take images of the jawbone and teeth to determine the size and shape of the implant site. B. Surgical stents. Surgical stents are used to create a guide for drilling the implant site and to ensure proper placement of the implant. C. Implant measuring instruments. These instruments are used to measure the diameter and length of the implant and to select the appropriate size of the implant. Arrangement. Diagnostic instruments are usually arranged on a tray or in a stand with the X-ray machine placed on one end and the surgical stents and implant measuring instruments placed on the other end. Surgical Instruments A. Bone Drills Bone drills are used to prepare the implant site by drilling a hole into the jawbone. B. Implant Drivers Implant drivers are used to insert the implant into the prepared site. C. Tissue Punches Tissue punches are used to create a small opening in the gums to expose the implant site. D. Osteotomes. Osteotomes are used to condense the bone around the implant site, creating a stable base for the implant. E. Surgical curettes. Surgical curettes are used to remove any debris or bone fragments from the implant site. F. Rongers. Rongers are used to trim and shape the bone around the implant site. G. Periosteal elevators. Periosteal elevators are used to lift the gum tissue away from the implant site providing access for the surgical instruments. Arrangement. Surgical instruments are usually arranged on a surgical tray or in a stand, with the bone drills, implant drivers, tissue punches, and osteotomes placed on one end, and the surgical curettes, rongers, and periosteal elevators placed on the other end. Prosthetic instruments. A. Impression copings. Impression copings are used to make an impression of the implant site allowing the dental laboratory to create an accurate model of the implant. B. Healing abutments. Healing abutments are used to cover the implant site while it heals, allowing the gum tissue to grow around the implant. C. Abutment screws. Abutment screws are used to secure the abutment to the implant. D. Implant analogs. Implant analogs are used to create a model of the implant, allowing the dental laboratory to create a custom abutment and crown. E. Implant drivers. Implant drivers are used to insert the abutment screw and seat the implant crown. Arrangement. Prosthetic instruments are usually arranged on a prosthetic tray or in a stand, with the impression copings and implant analogs placed on one end, and the healing abutments, abutment screws, and implant drivers placed on the other end. Restorative instruments. A. Impression trays. Impression trays are used to take an impression of the implant and surrounding teeth to create a custom abutment or crown. B. Abutment placement instruments. Abutment placement instruments are used to place the abutment onto the implant and secure it in place. C. Crown and bridge cementation instruments. These instruments are used to cement the crown or bridge onto the abutment. Arrangement. Restorative instruments are usually arranged on a tray or in a stand with the impression trays placed on one end and the abutment placement and crown and bridge cementation instruments placed on the other end. Maintenance Instruments A. Implant Scalers Implant scalers are used to remove plaque and calculus from the surface of the implant and surrounding tissue. B. Implant Curettes Implant curettes are used to clean and smooth the surface of the implant and surrounding tissue. C. Implant Maintenance Kit this kit contains various instruments, including scalers, curettes, and brushes, to maintain the implant and surrounding tissue. Arrangement. Maintenance instruments are usually arranged on a tray or in a stand, with the implant scalers and curettes placed on one end and the implant maintenance kit placed on the other end. Bone grafting instruments. A. Bone grafting materials. Bone grafting materials are used to promote bone growth and support implant placement in cases where there is insufficient bone density or volume. B. Bone grafting instruments. Bone grafting instruments, such as curettes and bone scrapers, are used to prepare the site for bone grafting and to shape the graft material.
Arrangement. Bone grafting instruments are typically arranged on a separate tray or in a stand, with the bone grafting materials placed on one end, the bone grafting instruments placed in the middle, and the membrane placement instruments placed on the other end. In conclusion, dental implant instruments are specialized tools that allow dentists to provide quality care to their patients. With this knowledge, dental professionals can perform implant procedures efficiently, accurately, and safely, ensuring the best possible outcome for their patients. Thanks for watching subscribe MK Dentist for more videos like, comments, share with friends.